thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness, mighty God, for your mercy, Lord. We praise your name, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy, hallelujah. He's worthy, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're grateful, mighty God, for your goodness and mercy. We're grateful, mighty God, for your grace, Lord, for your presence, mighty God. We are grateful, Lord Jesus. We thank you, mighty God, that we're found here, Lord, in your presence, Lord Jesus. For there's none merciful, none good to us like you, mighty God. We're grateful to be here, Lord Jesus, where your spirit is, mighty God, where your presence is, Lord Jesus. We're grateful to be found in your midst, mighty God, Lord Jesus. We ask you, mighty God, in this time that you have given and you have set for us, Lord Jesus, that you be found in our midst, mighty God. Lord, that you touch and speak to each and every one of us by your word, Lord Jesus, and work in our life, mighty God. Work your work of encouragement of your strength, Lord Jesus, in this time that you've given for each and every one of us, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God bless you, musicians. God bless you, everybody. You may be seated. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for his presence. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. It's a gift. Praise the Lord. To be in the presence of the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we have been gifted that today. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Today's message is going to be a short uh, message of reminder and encouragement. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just a quick word of encouragement and reminder from the word of God in the book of Matthew chapter 4 from verse 18. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 4. Praise God. We'll read from verse 18. Praise the Lord. It says, And Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then he said to them, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When Jesus first encountered Peter and Andrew, his brother, praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when they first encountered Jesus, praise the Lord, he first called them, praise God. He said, follow me, praise God, praise the Lord. He gave them a purpose. He said, come, follow me, an instruction to follow God, praise the Lord, to follow in, in his path, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise God. And he says there, together with the instruction to follow him, he says, and I will make you fishers of men, praise God, hallelujah. When God called out Peter, Praise the Lord. And Andrew, praise God. And the rest of the disciples, praise the Lord. He didn't call them out without, in emptiness, praise the Lord. He didn't call them out without an, a promise, praise God, hallelujah. He promised Peter and Andrew, praise God, that he would make them fishers of men, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And when they heard that, praise God, they left everything and followed him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
And when God came to our life and he called us, praise the Lord, we left everything to follow God, praise the Lord, not only because of his calling, but because of the promises that he has given to us, praise the Lord. God has given us personal promises in our life, praise God. God has given us a promise for our calling, praise the Lord. God has given us a promise for this church, praise the Lord, when he called it out of this desert, praise God. Praise the Lord. When he first calls out, he calls out with a promise, praise God. When God approached Abraham, praise the Lord, and the voice of the Lord came to Abraham, he first called him out, praise God, out of his family, out of his kindred, praise God, out of his nation, out of his tribe, praise the Lord. And he called them out to a promise, praise the Lord, hallelujah, that he would make him a father of many nations, that he would give him a seed, praise God, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And Abraham, hearing that promise, took the steps to follow God, praise the Lord, and it sustained him for 25 years for that promise, praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the people that followed God, these disciples, praise the Lord, the promise of God in their life, praise the Lord, their purpose of their life was within that promise and that drove them, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. It drove them past all tribulation, past all persecution, praise God. To keep following God for that promise sake. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And we have been given great, great promises. Praise God. When we were called out of the desert. Praise God. Out of our families and our tribes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. It says in Isaiah 32 from verse 15. Just to touch on some of the promises. Praise God. Isaiah 32 from verse 15. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before we read that, I want us to read, first of all, praise God. Yeah, Isaiah 32 from verse we we'll read from verse 12, praise God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. It says, people shall mourn upon their breasts for the ple pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. On the land of my people will come up thorns and briars. Yes, all the happy homes in all joyous cities, because the places will be forsaken. The bursting city will be des deserted. The fortress and the towers will will become layers forever, a joy of wild donkeys and pastures of flocks, until the Spirit is poured out upon us from on high, and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field, and a fruitful field is counted as a forest. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness remain in the fruitful field. The work of the righteous will be peace, and the effects of the righteous quietness and assurance forever. My people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in a secure dwelling, in a quiet resting place. Through hail, come, through hail comes down on the forest, and the city is brought low in humiliation. Blessed are you who sow beside all waters, who send out freely the feet of the ox and donkey. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He tells them, praise God, and promises them, praise the Lord. The wilderness will become a fruitful field and the fruitful field counted as a forest. Then justice will dwell in the wilderness and righteousness remain in the fruitful field. Praise God. Even though you are in the midst of the desert and there is injustice, praise God, and the joy of the people is taken away, praise God, there will be a time, praise the Lord. Excuse me, praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There will be a time where my promise will be fulfilled and this dry and deserted land will become a fruitful place, praise God, a fruitful field and it will be counted as a forest and justice will dwell and peace will abound, praise God. 
such promises that God gave to his people, that God has given to us, praise the Lord. We are here in the desert waiting upon the promise of God. We are here passing through tribulations, praise God, waiting upon the promise that was given to us, praise the Lord. The disciples waited, praise God. They went with Jesus wherever he went. They learned everything that he had taught them from his words, praise God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, the Lord was crucified on the cross and ascended in heaven, praise God, uh, and rose again, praise the Lord, and appeared to them, praise God, in Luke 24 from verse 26, praise the Lord. And he tells them this when he has appeared to them and his message before he ascends, praise God, in the book of Luke Chapter 24, praise God, from verse 46, praise the Lord. 24 from verse 20, 46, it says, Then he said to them, Thus it is written, and that it is necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send the promise of my father upon you but tarry in the city of jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord he tells them this is your purpose as witnesses that you preach the name praise god across every nation beginning from jerusalem praise god and he says, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He gave them a purpose and work. Praise God. But he told them to tarry in Jerusalem until they're endued. Praise God. With power from on high. Praise the Lord. What was the Lord speaking about when he spoke about the power that would fall upon them from on high? Praise the Lord. The power that they had to wait on. Praise God. Hallelujah. The power that there was going to be endured upon them so that they can receive the promise that there was given. Praise God. What was that power? It says in the book of Acts chapter 1 from verse 4. Praise God. Acts chapter 1 from verse 4. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. It says, And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Praise God. It was necessary for them to wait in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to fall down upon them, praise God. The Spirit of the Lord was going to endow them with strength and power from on high, praise the Lord, hallelujah, that they may receive the promises that they were given, praise God, hallelujah, praise the Lord. They weren't able to fulfill the promises that they have heard from the mouth of Jesus, praise God, from the word of the scriptures, praise God, all by themselves. They were not able to, praise God. So God commanded them, Jesus commanded them to stay and wait in Jerusalem, praise God. To wait for the power to fall down on, him, on them from on high. For the spirit of the Lord. It says, for John truly baptized you with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, if you continue in verse 6, it says, therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel, they're asking about the promise that he has made, praise God, the promise that was written in the word, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel, uh, the kingdom to Israel and he said to them it is not for you to know the times or seasons which the father has put in his own authority 
But you shall receive power when the Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They asked him, is it at this time, Lord, that you're going to fulfill the promises that you have made? Praise God. He told them, it's not for you to know the time. Just wait on the Spirit of the Lord where you will receive power to do the works that you are called to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When Peter was called, he was called to be a fisherman, fisher of men. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And when was that promise fulfilled for Peter's life? Praise the Lord. Praise God. In Acts 2 chapter um, chapter 2 verse 38 praise the Lord we'll read from verse uh, from verse praise the Lord from verse 1 if we could read from verse 1 there when the day of Pentecost had fully come they were all in one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting and there appeared to them divide, uh, divided tongues of fire, as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. And the, as the Spirit gave them utterance, praise the Lord, hallelujah. While they were waiting on the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord fell down upon them, and they spoke in utterance, praise God. And verse 5, it says, and when they were... And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men, and every nation under, earth, under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and, and, and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Look, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how is it that we hear each one? in one in our own language which uh, in which we were born parthians and medes and elamites and those who dwell in mesopotamia judea and cappadonia pontus and asia phrygus phrygia and uh, Pamphy pamphylia egypt and the parts of libya adjoining cyrene visitors from rome both jews and proselytes, certains and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. So they were all amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, whatever could this mean? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we know what happened from there on. Peter came before them and in their confusion, praise God, and preached a preaching about Jesus. Praise the Lord. At this point, he fulfilled his purpose to be a witness of God and started speaking about Jesus whom they crucified. Praise the Lord. And with that preaching that was filled by the Spirit of God, praise the Lord, he say through Peter's preaching, 3,000 souls were saved. Praise the Lord. The promise that he made him when he first called him, to make him fisher of man, praise God, was fulfilled when the Spirit of the Lord descended upon Peter and the twelve and the eleven disciples. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. He called them out with a promise, but he told them to wait on the Lord. Wait in Jerusalem. Praise God. And we are called with a promise. Praise God. But before the work of God is done, praise the Lord, we have to be waiting here in Jerusalem, praise God, waiting on the Spirit of God, the power of God to be poured out upon this church, praise the Lord, so that the will of God for us can be accomplished, can be started, can be moved, praise God, hallelujah, praise the Lord, so we can receive power from the Spirit of God, hallelujah, to do the, what we have been called to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. So today's message is to wait in Jerusalem. Tarry in Jerusalem. Praise God. Wait for the Spirit of the Lord. Praise God. 
That is what we are waiting on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Peter and the disciples waited several days for the spirit of the Lord to fall down. Praise God. They waited silently and in prayer. Praise God. Together every day in that house. Praise God. They prayed and waited and waited and waited. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And one day while they were waiting, the spirit of the Lord descended upon them. Praise God. And when just a few minutes ago, nobody noticed that house. Praise God. Nobody noticed the people that were in there. They weren't peculiar people. Praise God. There weren't anything to look at. Praise the Lord. But when the power and the spirit of the Lord descended upon that house. Praise God. Where they were dwelling in. Praise the Lord. Every man, every child, every person around that area. Praise the Lord. Was drawn to that house. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When nobody noticed it before. Praise the Lord. But when the spirit of the Lord descended upon it. Praise God. Every man turned to that house, praise the Lord. And there was something about it. They said, what a wonderful work of God that is happening in that house, praise the Lord. What is going on there? I can hear them speaking in my language, praise God. What kind of work of God is this, praise the Lord. And they were drawn to them, praise God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God. And the word of the Lord that Peter spoke, praise God, in preaching to those people, praise the Lord, had so much power infused with the spirit of God, praise the Lord, hallelujah, that it came to life in their hearts, praise the Lord. These men that were just travelers heard this message and from one message their hearts were broken, their hearts were melted, praise God, and they asked Peter, what shall we do? And Peter was able to tell them to repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus for their remissions of sin, and receive the Holy Spirit, praise God, hallelujah, with that one message that comes from the power of the Spirit of God. If Peter the day before decided, that's enough waiting, I'm going to go out there and speak to these people, praise God, there would have been no power in the word, praise God. What brings power to the word is the spirit of God. What brings power to the promise and what brings fulfillment to the promise, praise God, is the spirit of God, praise the Lord. You know why the source of all life is in the spirit of the Lord, praise God, hallelujah. So if we want the word of God to have life, praise God, we ought to pray for the spirit of God to fall down on it, praise the Lord, hallelujah. If we want the the promises of God come to life, praise the Lord. We pray for the outpouring of the Spirit, praise God, hallelujah. Then it will be brought to life, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. In the book of Micah, when Micah, the prophet, praise the Lord, was proclaiming and rebuking the people of Israel, praise God, in Micah chapter 3, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He was speaking to them, correcting them, praise God. And he says something there in Micah chapter 3 from verse. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. <clears throat> from verse 5, I'll read a little bit to give us context, praise God. It says, that says the Lord concerning the prophets who make my people stray, who chant peace while they chew with their teeth, and, but who are prepare, who prepare war against him, who puts nothing in their mouths, therefore you shall have night without vision, and you shall have darkness without div divination, divination. The sun shall go down on the prophets, and the day shall be dark for them. So the shears shall also shall be ashamed, and the diviners abashed. Indeed, they shall all cover their lips. For there is no answer from God. But truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord. And of justice and might to declare to Jacob his transgressions and to Israel his sins. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord and of justice and might. 
to declare to Jacob his transgressions and to Israel his sins, praise God. And he continues to tell them about their wrongdoings, praise God, and harshly to correct them, praise the Lord. But he says here, I am full of power. Where does he receive his power to say such things, praise God, to preach to the people such things, praise God, from the spirit of the Lord and justice and might, praise God, to declare, praise the Lord. When Peter stood up there before the 3,000 souls, praise God, it was their power that came from the spirit, the might that came from the spirit that was able to to declare to their hearts, praise God, to convict their hearts, to prick their hearts, praise the Lord, to make them hear the word of God, praise the Lord. It's the power that comes from the spirit of God, praise the Lord. It's not the actions, it's not the words, praise God, it's the words through the power of the spirit, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God, praise the Lord. Praise God. We know the story about Samson. Praise the Lord. Samson was a mighty man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. High of stature. Praise the Lord. When you looked at him, he looked muscular and manly. Praise God. And the Bible says that he killed thousands of thousands of Philistines. Praise the Lord. All by himself. Praise God. With no help of the army of Israel. Praise the Lord. But the Bible says every time that he was reproached by the Philistines, praise God, and he stood there to fight against them, praise the Lord, just before the mighty acts of Solomon, uh, not Solomon, um, Samson, praise God, just before his mighty acts of wonder and the work doing and the work that he did, praise God, it proceed, preceded, praise God, by the words of the Spirit of the Lord fell upon Samson, praise God. The Spirit of the Lord filled Samson, praise God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before the work began, praise God. Before he did wondrous and miraculous work among the people of Israel and he was able to defend his people, praise God, is the Spirit of the Lord that descended upon him. That made him act, praise God. That gave him the power and the might to do the will of God. That was the purpose in his life, praise God. Praise the Lord. And the moment that he strayed from that purpose and he thought to do it again, praise God. He looked at himself. He was still the same. He's not dismembered, praise God. He still has his mighty arm and his mighty legs, praise the Lord. And he looked around and he went to do the same work. But he was without the spirit of God. The Bible says he, he did not know that the Spirit of the Lord had left him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The power, the life, praise God, is from the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we have wonderful, beautiful words and promise from the Word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And these words are going to do mighty works in our life. Praise the Lord. These words are going to do great things in this nation, praise God. But once the spirit of the Lord is poured out, praise God. Once the outpouring of the Lord has filled, praise the Lord, this house, praise God. Then, praise the Lord, can we fulfill the will of God for our life, for our calling, praise God. And I'm saying our calling, individual calling, praise God. And our calling for this church, praise the Lord, hallelujah. God has called us out from this desert, praise God, with a calling, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And when we pray and pray for the Spirit of God, we are patiently waiting in Jerusalem for the power to be endued upon us from on high, praise the Lord, for the might and strength of the Spirit of God to fall upon us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. It says in the book of John chapter 6 from verse 63, praise God. John chapter 6 verse 63, praise the Lord. Chapter 6 verse 63, praise the Lord. Praise God. We we'll read from verse 60. Therefore, many of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can understand it? 
When Jesus knew in himself, his disciple complained about this. He said, does this offend you? What then if you shall see the Son of Man ascend where he was before? Is it the Spirit who gives life and the flesh profits nothing? The words I speak to you are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is it the spirit who gives life and the flesh profits nothing? The words I speak to you are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When Jesus was speaking, praise God, and speaking to his own disciples, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He many a times would tell them, praise God, it is not I who do these things, but the Father that is in me, praise God, hallelujah. He would say, these are not my words, but the words of the Father in me, praise the Lord, hallelujah. The Bible tells us in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was made flesh, praise God. Hallelujah. The word was with God and the word was God. Praise the Lord. In the Bible, it tells us in 2 Timothy 3.16, God manifested in the flesh. Praise the Lord. Great is the mystery of God manifested in the flesh. Praise God. When God made himself a body by his word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It couldn't move. It couldn't act. It couldn't heal. Praise God. Until he filled him, his spirit upon that body, praise God, manifested in the flesh, praise the Lord, and moved among men, praise God, is the combination of the word of God manifested in the flesh and the spirit that was in him, praise God, that was doing wonders and miracles upon the earth, praise God. It's not sufficient for us to only have the word of God. We need the spirit of God as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's the spirit of God that makes the legs move. Praise God. And the hands move. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When God spoke and things were done. Praise God. People were healed. Praise the Lord. The blind were able to see. Praise God. Praise the Lord. It's because the spirit moving through the flesh was doing the work, praise God, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise God, hallelujah, we have the word of God in our hands, praise the Lord, we have promises, and we have the will of God that is outlined for us in his word, praise God, but we are dead without the spirit, praise the Lord, we need the spirit of God to pour out upon us to give us life. It's a life-giving spirit. It's a life-giving spirit to the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. It says, <clears throat> praise the Lord, in the book of uh, what we read earlier, praise God, in the book of Isaiah 32. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Isaiah 32. Praise God. From verse 15, praise God, hallelujah. Isaiah 32 from verse 15, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I will read from verse 9, praise God. Rise up, you women who are at ease. Hear my voice, you complacent daughters. Give ears to my speech in a year, and some days you will be troubled, you complacent women, for the vintage will fail, and the gathering will not come. Tremble, you women who are at ease. Be troubled, you complacent ones. Strip yourself, make yourself bare, and get sackcloth on your waist. People shall mourn upon the breast for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. On the land of my people, will come up thorns and briars yes on all happy homes in the joyous city because the palaces will be forsaken the bustling city will be deserted the forts and the towers will become layers forever a joy of wild donkeys a pasture of flocks until the spirit is poured upon us 
from on high. Praise God. And the wilderness becomes a fruitful field and the fruitful field counted as a forest. Praise God. Hallelujah. All this is happening. Praise God. Praise the Lord. People shall mourn on the breast for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine on the land of my people will, become, will come up thorns and briars. Yes, on all happy homes in the joyous city. Praise God. All this calamity is befalling my people. Praise God. So he tells them, rise up, cry, praise the Lord. Strip yourself and put sackcloth and weep, praise God. Because of the situation that we are in, praise God. And it says, before the wilderness becomes a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted as a forest, it says, until the Spirit is poured upon us from on high, praise God. What changes that situation to this situation, praise God? What changes the dry and deserted land into a fruitful field, praise God? What transforms, praise God, a place that was full of injustice and evil and darkness into a place of justice and peace, praise God, and the presence of God upon it, praise the Lord? The Bible says the spirit of the Lord, praise God. When it is poured out upon the land, praise God, it becomes a fruitful field. So why is he asking them to cry? What for is he asking them to pray? Praise God. Praise the Lord. What is needed to make the change, praise God, in their nation, praise the Lord, is the outpouring of the Spirit of God, praise the Lord. All the situation that we see, praise God, that we are in, praise the Lord, the state that our country, that our nation, that the world is in, praise God, should lead us to crying and praying for the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's the outpouring of the Spirit of God that's going to bring about the promises the fruitfulness of the land, praise God. The righteousness of the land to rise up, praise the Lord. For the Spirit of God to be poured out upon this land that it may be transformed, praise God. That's where we put our prayers, praise the Lord, hallelujah. When, the, when Jesus spoke to his disciples and said, wait for me in Jerusalem, praise God. Until... The Holy Spirit falls out upon you, praise God. The power is endured upon you from on high, praise God. When he told them that, guess what they were praying for in that time, praise God. Praise the Lord. I can guarantee they were praying for the Spirit of God, praise the Lord, that was promised for them. That they're waiting on, praise God. I can guarantee that they were praying for the outpouring of the power and might of God, praise the Lord. When the Spirit of God falls down, it doesn't come empty handed, praise God. It comes with power and might, praise the Lord, that is going to give us the ability to do what we're called to do, praise God. Peter was able to do what he was called to do because of the outpouring of the Spirit upon him, praise God. Upon the disciples, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And we will be able to accomplish what God has called us to accomplish because of his spirit, praise God. He will pour out his spirit. There is a time, it's not for us to know, praise God, but it's for us to wait, praise the Lord. It's not for us to know the time, praise God, but it's for us to pray for it, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And when it does come, praise the Lord, and when the Spirit is poured out on us, praise God, every promise that we have heard over and over and over again, praise the Lord, we're going to see with our eyes, praise God. And we're going to do with our hands, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Every work of power and healing, praise God, and miraculous deeds and glorious acts that the Bible speaks about the church of God doing, praise the Lord, we're all going to see it, we're going to be part of it, because we will be empowered by the Spirit of God that will be poured out on us, praise the Lord. So while we wait in Jerusalem, praise God, waiting upon the Lord, waiting on His Spirit, praise God, let us pray for great outpouring, praise God, hallelujah. Let's make that one of our focuses in our prayers, praise God, a great outpouring, 
of the Spirit of God in our life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In our church, praise the Lord. In our nation, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'd like to invite Pastor Abraham. Praise God. If you could add a few words and lead us in closing today. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Very true. Praise God. Uh, water is life. Praise the Lord. A wilderness, deserted place can become very fruitful in a very short time if there is plenty of water. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And uh, uh, for that to happen, it requires a lot of prayer. When we look at what we've just read about the day of Pentecost, the Spirit of God wasn't just poured out on the disciples on that day because uh, of just their prayer. Amen. They were praying for approximately 40 days, 40 to 50 days, uh, if I am correct, praise the Lord. Um, the day of Pentecost was on the 50th day. Uh, uh, but prior to that, Jesus Christ spent a lot of time praying. The Bible tells us that there was even a point where he was praying in deep anguish and agony until there was drop of blood from his head like a sweat. Praise the Lord. And so that powerful outpouring in that place that free flow of the Spirit of God is as a result of not only the prayers of the disciples, but also the prayers of Christ. Hallelujah. That is why Jesus said, it is expedient for me to go away. If I don't go away, the Spirit of truth, the helper, will not come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So for the Spirit of God to be poured in such a mighty way, it requires a lot of prayer. Especially to be poured out in a place where the Spirit of God hasn't been poured out. In a land that is spiritual wilderness. In a land that is defiled by the sins and the wickedness of the inhabitants that live in it. Hallelujah. Amen. It will require a lot of intercession. Praise God. But when it comes, it will give us rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. It will give us rest. Hallelujah. It will give us rest. Hallelujah. And Jesus chose, I believe there were about 100, 100 disciples in that room praying. Praise God and waiting upon God for the Spirit to be poured out. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they were, they were not much, they were few, praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. And there were individuals that Jesus Christ chose a very long time ago. They were his disciples that were following him for quite some time, for more than three years. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has chosen you and me. Amen. He has chosen you. 
and me. Praise the Lord. How many of you believe that? And so next time when you are at home, when you are praying, or in your prayer meeting and praying, let's remember to pray for the Spirit of God to be poured out. In Australia, praise God. In this nation. Hallelujah. Let us take maybe a few minutes and let us pray. Let us, let, let us ask the Lord. Lord, remember your promise. It's time for the latter rain. It's time for the outpouring of your spirit. Jesus, Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, mighty God, Lord, you have said, Lord, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, Lord Jesus. Lord, mighty God, we come before you today, Lord Jesus. Lord, according to your promise, Lord Jesus, in Zechariah 10.1, Lord Jesus, ask the Lord of the rain in the time of the latter rain, that the Lord may make broom. Bright clouds, Lord Jesus, mighty God, and pour out, Lord Jesus, showers of rain upon each grass in the field. Lord, Lord, mighty God, Lord Jesus, the promise of the latter rain, Lord Jesus, the former and the latter rain in the first month, Lord, according to your word. Lord Jesus, mighty God, pour it out, pour it out, pour it out upon Australia, pour it out upon this nation. Pour it out over our lives, pour it out upon your church, pour it out, Lord Jesus. Lord, pour it out, Lord Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pour out your spirit, Lord Jesus. Lord, without measure, Lord Jesus. Mighty God, you have said I will make the wilderness a pool of water. Hallelujah. The dry ground. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Springs of water, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You have said I will make rivers. In the desert, hallelujah, Jesus, mighty God, Lord. Lord, according to the measure of your of the promise of your word, according to the measure of, of your word, Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit, Lord Jesus, in our time, Lord Jesus, as in the day of Pentecost, Lord, pour out your spirit, Lord, mighty God, hallelujah. Open up the heavens, Lord Jesus. Pour out, Lord Jesus, pour out, Lord Jesus, your spirit over our lives, over your church, Lord Jesus, over this nation, Lord Jesus. Lord, let it flow, mighty God, Lord Jesus. 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 Let it flow into this nation, Lord, but according to your mercy, Lord Jesus. According to your mercy, Lord Jesus. Lord, mighty God, remove, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Remove, Lord Jesus, anything that hinders your spirit, Lord, from flowing into this nation, Lord Jesus. Lord, forgive, Lord Jesus. Lord, be merciful, Lord Jesus. Lord, be compassionate, Lord Jesus. Lord, remove, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. Anything that hinders your spirit from flowing in Australia. Anything that hinders your spirit from flowing in your church. Anything that hinders your spirit from flowing in onto our